Guys, today is the day. The first time I will be driving a Tamiya car that I've just built in over 32 years. The last one was a Hot Shot 2. This one, Tamiya Plasma Edge 2. So, awesome. But first off, I need to um, admit to a ginormous error that I made. I had a full build video for this car filmed and ready to go, but somewhere in the process from switching the footage from the camera over to my computer, I managed to delete a huge chunk out of the middle of the build video, so it jumps from step 8 all the way through to step 30 so I have got that what I've got edited but I wasn't sure whether it was worthwhile even putting it in the video let me know down in the comments whether you want to still see what I did of that I just wasn't sure whether it was worth it or not but if it's wanted to be watched I'll definitely put it up but so leave a comment down below can't believe I did that guys it took so long to make oh well I guess it happened rookie error <laughs> Guys, don't forget, subscribe and smash the bell. Alright guys, this is the very first run, test run of my Tamiya Plasma Edge 2. It's got a nickel metal battery in it currently, just for its test run with the purple bull motor. And I've also got the um, radio link receiver and radio link controller. So, let's see how it goes with the um with the nickel metal battery with the purple ball very responsive steering Alright guys, it was at this point that I started noticing that the car seemed to be reacting as if it had drag brake, which I did not have activated. Then I realised that with this controller, um, because of the way my fingers are, I was actually, this knob here, I was actually bumping that with my thumb and inadvertently adjusting the throttle up, 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 up till it was basically, it was almost all brake. So as soon as I let go of the throttle, even a bit, it started braking. So 
that is not a design flaw of the controller it's more a um an adjustment that i need to make with my um the limited tactile ability of my fingers i need to work out what i can do to prevent myself from accidentally toggling these um because i do like them but they do get in the way of my fingers unfortunately so got any ideas leave a comment down below still working out what to do with that but anyway is it just an electric brake or yeah What did it go up that? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, first rule of driving on the road, watch out for traffic. Oh, didn't see it. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't see that. Alright guys, let's get this thing off the road. One more blast in the grass and see how it manages to perform. Got a very low clearance. Yeah. At the front. Yeah. Is that adjustable? Oh, and now it's gone. Alright guys, um we've had a good run of it. It goes really well actually. The only issue is this purple bull motor is getting really hot really quickly and the ESC is cutting out. Um so it needs another heat sink maybe a fan even because yeah that that purple bull motor is pr running pretty hot actually 
Um, so, but other than that, it runs really, really nicely. Good thing I didn't put that motor cover on it like they were suggesting to do, otherwise it would have overheated even more, I reckon. So, yep, heat sink on this and maybe a fan, and it runs really well. All right, guys, that actually went really well. Just a couple of things. The brushed motor, the purple ball, it's just getting, it's overheating way too much. I think I'm going to do a speed run with it, then whip it out and do a brushless conversion on it. And I really reckon this car will be just nice to play around with, with a brushless motor in it. And I definitely need to raise the ride height a tiny bit. It seems to be on the settings that the middle holes on the swing arms for the um, for the shocks, um, they seem to keep the car, the, the body quite low. There's not a lot of clearance. Like when I went to go up my gutter, which isn't very, probably about that much of a lip, it, just slammed into it as you saw in the footage so for an off-road car it does not have a lot of ground clearance so raise this shock height up a little bit hopefully that'll just give it a little bit more ground clearance but other than that really liking this car so far it's great i i enjoy giving it its first test run going to be giving it a speed run with the purple ball soon so watch out for that if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing and smashing on that bell and maybe even giving a thumbs up to the video <laughs> anyway guys i'll leave it there um i'll catch us all later in the next one i'm matt at rc chronicles catch you later guys